Hi everybody, I'm here uh, today with Dr. Danielle Miller. So Hi. Dr. Danielle was one of our first um, participants in the 14 day blood sugar challenge and she put the monitor on just over two weeks ago. So today Danielle's gonna share her experiences with wearing the monitor. So what I was saying to Dr. Keenan, I was so happy to have it on for the couple of weeks that I did. I loved having the feedback. I loved the information. And I, I had two major takeaways, I would say. I was just explaining to, to Dr. Tiffany. The first takeaway for me was it, I really enjoyed the accountability I had um, with everything that I, that I intook. Uh, and because I was taking my blood sugar all the time, I was able to see, uh, you know, I was mindful about everything that I was intaking and I was able to see how everything that I did intake really had an impact on, on my body and in what way it had an, intake up or an impact on my body. So the accountability was amazing and that was the first takeaway. And the second takeaway was that uh, I was explaining to Dr. Tiffany that one of my guilty pleasures is unfortunately diet sodas. And um, I was starting to get to the slippery slope of having a diet soda almost every day because I would hit a low of my blood sugar, I'm sure, in the day, and you feel like I needed a little pick-me-up and I would, I would have one. Now, I know that this is not good for me. I know in the literature it's, it's said to spike my blood sugar even though it doesn't contain true sugar, um, and it says it's zero calories. But when I had a Pepsi Zero, the first Pepsi Zero I had, I had only had it on for a couple of days, uh, the monitor, and I checked my blood sugar after that. I was amazed at the spike that I saw in my blood sugar. It was huge. It was higher than it had been the entire time I had had it on. And I, I guess seeing it, in, but you know, with my own eyes, my blood sugar spike, just because of, of that diet soda, uh, it was enough to keep me from having diet soda for the rest of the time that it was on. So it was a really good motivator for me. And so I'm hoping to break that bad habit because of this experience. So that's good. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing, Dr. Danielle. And yes. I think the biggest thing is that concept of body awareness. Yes, <clears throat> absolutely. You know, and when we wear something like a monitor, mine is still on, yeah. you know, we just know that we can customize our lifestyle. And when we were able to see what's really going on, the impact of food, the impact of, of drinks, the impact of alcohol, the impact of stress, the mm -hmm. impact of sleep, all of those things have come up over these past 14 days for individuals. Absolutely. So Danielle, you know, when we're speaking with patients, because you see mm -hmm. a lot too, and we look, we talk about lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So how do you think a device like this could be useful, you know, when you're dealing with chiropractic patients that have chronic pain and issues? Uh, oh, absolutely. In fact, I was just saying uh, to, to Dr. Keenan that my patients were really curious about the device I had on my arm the, the entirety of the, of the time it was on uh, and were curious about my, my blood sugar. A lot of them said, you know, you have diabetes or do you have prediabetes? And I was like, no, you know, my blood sugars tend to be on the lower end, but I just like the information. And, and I think, you know, we know that sugar is inflammatory and we know that it, inflammation really impacts our body and our musculoskeletal system. And so when we're dealing with a chronic injury, acute injury, adding extra inflammation is just never what you want, you know? And so if it's one, one way, you know, I'm talking about icing and heating and movement with patients, if there's, if there's one extra way that we can impact that inflammation and that is by what we intake, then why not? And, and if we know what really increases or maintains our blood sugar personally, then that may, that may man, man, manifest physically as well. And, and I think that would probably be a, a really great thing for everybody to be able to monitor, even if they're not diabetic or pre-diabetic, you know? That's right, and to, to gain that awareness so that you can see in your body, you know, if I'm having pain, are my, could it be that my sugars are elevated? Yeah. And it's quite surprising what you can find. And even I had a patient in uh, just yesterday and she chronically has high sugars. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's wondering, we're wondering what's going on. There's a lot of inflammation in the body. Mm -hmm. And so that can give you pain, right? So Absolutely. you could be going to a chiropractor for a long time mm -hmm. and wonder, you know, what's pushing the needle or what's something that you could do. Mm -hmm. And so wearing a little tool like this, Again, whether you're, you know, in Canada, you can buy it off the shelf for it's about a hundred bucks. Yep. In Bermuda, you can get it about the same or you can yep. get it by prescription. 
So it's one little tool, one little gadget. It's in our toolbox, you know, you know, yes. I'm sitting here with Danielle and you know, she's got lots of tools in her yeah. toolbox <laughs> and her hands, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, but when we think about what do we have access to as individuals, and this is something that you can use to mm -hmm. empower you to take control of your health. And Absolutely. that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank I you appreciate, so much, Dr. Danielle. I appreciate my experience with it. I'm going to use it again, and I'm going to, you know, suggest it to my patients as well, for sure. Thank you. Thank right. you. Bye, everyone. Bye.